Good afternoon, people watching Miss 65, Lisa Boyce. I have a verse of scripture, and the reason I'm going to use this verse of scripture is because I had an unfortunate visitor today. They were two Mormons. 2 Timothy 3, 5, having a form of godliness, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. From such, turn away. Oh yeah, they knocked on my door. And when I looked out the window, when I looked out the window, it was the form of a dark figure in a black dress. And I'm like, oh, who is this? And I turned on the light, there were two young girls. Let me give you the Gospels in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, which, by the way, they did not know. 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, Christ shed his blood for all of our sins, past, present, and future, was buried and rose again on the third day according to Scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works, lest any man should boast. It is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believe in him, will not perish, but have eternal life. How do you come to that? You admit you're a sinner in need of Christ. The moment you put your faith and trust in Christ, the moment you accept Christ as Savior, not only are you saved, but you're justified by the blood of Jesus. Let me explain something about the blood of Jesus before I go further. The blood of Jesus, no demon can come in through the blood of Jesus. You are protected by the blood of Jesus. It's the blood that gives you life, the blood of Jesus. You're rapture ready, which is going to happen at any time and you are sealed until the day of redemption, which means you cannot and will not lose your salvation. The Holy Spirit will indwell in you. The Holy Spirit will lead you, guide you, minister to you, encourage you, speak to you, everything change you now these two girls young girls <laughs> came to the door and <laughs> when i first looked out the window i'm like who is this i just saw a dark figure with you know all that and i'm like who are you <laughs> So they started telling me, oh, do you go to church? Do you have a church? We're just going around making our rounds. And uh, I closed the door behind me and went outside and talked to them. They didn't want to talk to me. After I finished with them, I said to them, where is the gospel? How do you get people saved? What do you think about the blood of Jesus? Uh, of course, they're going to give you the whole, the whole thing. Because they're Mormon. They don't know salvation if it hit them in the head, which it did. After I finished with these girls, it only took them like five minutes for them to realize that they went to the wrong house. And they said it. We are at the wrong house. They said it to each other. We are at the wrong house. I said, you're right. And I said, quit going around giving people a false doctrine. It took them five minutes for them to realize that they came to the wrong house. Because when I went outside to talk to them and closed the door behind me, that was it. That was it. They both looked at each other and said, we're at the wrong house. <laughs> jokingly but no they were seriously at the wrong house beware of demons trying to manipulate you i'm just saying put on the whole armor of god the breastplate of righteousness, the helmet of salvation, shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Because 
That enemy is out there, and he's roaring around like a lion, seeking whom he may devour. For real. For real. Now, if someone was weak, they would have fell for that. Hook, line, and sinker. Know your, know your enemy. Know the Lord. Because the Lord will give you wisdom about the enemy. <sighs> now this thing with Netanyahu. This is a setup. It is a pure and simple setup. And a friend of mine called and I had to think about what he said. And he's absolutely right. It's funny that Biden had this meeting with Xi this week or last week. After that meeting, all of a sudden he's doing a complete, oh yeah, we'll, we'll do a pause. They got something on Netanyahu. And they're telling him in his ear, if you don't do this, such and such and such will happen. This is how the U.S. operates. Basically like the Mormon church. Conniving. Somebody then whispered in this man's ear. Israel Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu Tuesday said, we are making progress on the return of hostages Hamas seized. I did a, a video on this earlier today. Again, I think this is a trap. And the U.S. has its paws written all over it. I got a bad, the moment I read this, I got a bad, I just said, this is not good. This is not good at all. Not that I don't want those people out. But the U.S. is making a deal with him. And I honestly believe it's part of blackmail. Because just three days ago, three days ago, he said there would be no deal. Now he's making this. Now it says here. Now listen to what the Saudi crown prince just demanded. Saudi Arabia demands the start of a serious and comprehensive peace process. So for those of you who say, well, when they say peace and safety, well, I got news for you. They've been saying peace and safety for the past year, possibly two years now. This pause with Israel is possibly the peace and safety that everybody was waiting for. I'm just saying. I'm just speculating. I could be wrong. I'm just saying. So Saudi Arabia demands the start of a serious and comprehensive peace process to establish a Palestinian state along the borders of 1967 Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman told a virtual summit of BRICS, BRICS groups today, today. The kingdom's position is constant and firm. There is no way to achieve security and stability in Palestine except through the implementation of international decisions related to the two-state solution. I think this pause, this little five-day exchange this for a bat, exchange this person for that person. I think this little five-day pause is possibly the peace and safety that we've been waiting for. And again, I could be wrong, but that's what it looks like to me. First thing that popped in my mind when I read this was, this is the peace and safety. Or the beginning of the peace and safety because you have to go, you know, Daniel 9, 27 and so forth. I'm just saying, I, I'm talking out loud, but yeah. 
Now they're really demanding a two-state solution. I guarantee you they told Netanyahu, either go for this or get out. And have all those charges that are pending on your head come into play. Guarantee you that. I'm going to link this in the description box. It's a short article off a of Jerusalem post. And if anything else comes up, I will be back on. But I had to come on here and tell everybody about the Mormons that came knocking on my door. Dressed in black. Two young girls. I think I was the worst door they knocked on. I didn't tell them off. I told them the truth. Did it help? Nope. Mm -mm. Nope. That's too bad. But I will be back later. Thank you.